Don't get ignored, how to get online traffic and offline traffic too. Do you want to make money online, for your online business or in any business, for that matter, if no one even notices your offer, you'll never make a sale. Marketing is, by nature, the act of attracting eyes and ears so you can deliver your offer in a compelling way. That is what getting traffic means. The more people see or hear your message, the more sales you'll make. It's as simple as that. S. Oh, how do you really get an online traffic flood to your website or people into your store? Here are some timeless, evergreen principles that can help you rise out of the noise and get seen and heard. Contrast. If you're advertising on TV and every else is brash, noisy, frenetic, and compressed, try showing a simple shot of someone enjoying a quiet moment with no music and no hype, then equate that piece with what your product offers them. If they buy your widget, their life can slow down and be peaceful, too. Use ingrained alert sounds and visuals. If your offer is preceded by the sound of a crying baby or a simple sign tone similar to that of the emergency broadcast system, people will alert to your message simply because doing so after hearing those sounds is programmed into them. For the same effect in visuals, try showing a car wreck, a stop sign, or a person looking the prospect in the eye. Communicate the message directly, tailored to them, using a first phrase that evokes a strong emotion in them. The classic version of this technique is the use of the headline what will you do when underscore 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 fill in the blank with the worst circumstances that your product can prevent. Other examples include imagine. No more loneliness and learn how to slash the cost of underscore 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 dot. Use exclamatory words or phrases. Examples of this that you'll actually see used right now are yikes. Crikey. No way. Unfair and holy crap. Softer version such as you've got to be kidding or I just can't believe it can work too. In fact, the people of the niche you are trying to serve will have their own narrower vocabulary. You will use different attention getters for the elderly than you would for 18 year olds. Rely on emotion above all. It is absolutely true that most buying choices are made based on emotion, then justified later with logic. Provide the logical reasons why your widget is better, sure. But lead with a promise of some emotional benefit the prospect deeply wants. Examples include I will show you how to find your dream spouse in 90 days or less or are you tired of underscore 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 underscore. In the end, your marketing is not about informing people about your offer. Instead, it is about grabbing their attention firmly, via emotion, and teasing their curiosity so they absolutely have to check out your offer.